output. Routing multiple outputs from your virtual instruments can help you save CPU power and achieve a cleaner mix. In this tutorial, you will learn how to route multiple virtual instrument outputs in Persona Studio 1-2 Professional. One of the advantages of working with virtual instruments like Studio 1-2's Impact is that you can send audio over more than one output. This means that you can process the kick, snare, and any other elements separate from each other for more control over your mix. Okay, first let's assign the kick, snare, and hi-hats to their own outputs within Impact. Below each pad, you'll find a dedicated output for that sound. We'll assign the kick to output mono 1, the snare to mono 2, and the hi-hat to mono 3. As you activate the virtual instrument outputs, you will notice corresponding channels in the mixer are added automatically. Expand the instrument panel by clicking on the instrument button. Choose Impact on the instrument panel to display its output options. Now we'll just select the outputs that we want to activate and deactivate those which aren't in use to keep the session organized. Each sound can now be processed independently without having to open multiple versions of the same instrument for more control over your mix. If you want to learn more about Persona Studio 1-2, check out these recommended videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.